took my breath away. And I looked at her and I said, do you know what you're doing? Those cats are eating on the best china I've ever seen. And she looked at me funny. You're going to have to go check out her um, eBay and her Etsy store to find it, find these dishes. I hope she, I hope she um, tells you the story herself. But she looks at me funny and she goes, what are you talking about? I said, do you know how much that dish is worth? And my brother-in-law quickly pulls up my brother-in-law. My brother, her husband, she's my sister-in-law. Ooh, Freudian slip. Um, I was born with champagne taste, but I live with a sweet tea pocketbook. Some say that I can pinch pennies till they squeak and turn into dimes. So let's spend some time together. Let's see what kind of adventures we can have and what treasures we can find. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll turn some of those pennies into dimes. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming to see my video. Thank you for coming back. Um, if you see something you like, please press like, please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel so you'll get more of the videos as they come out. Right now, they're just trickling out. But um, so you see what we like. And if there's anything that you see that you that you're interested in, put in a comment. In the a couple of things. It is St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Um, we're looking at the 9th of February right now. Today is the 8th, maybe. Um, so we're almost upon Valentine's Day. So I've kind of set that aside. And I am looking at St. Patrick's Day already. So. I wanted to show you, I have a, I have a couple of things, I have three things that remind me of Ireland. And um, first, this little beauty right here, I found at the Goodwill. And it's actually the Sam Shamrock Heritage Collection uh, die cast model. It's dated for, um, the date on the die cast model is 2002. It's um, made in um, Great Britain and that's what they were calling it in 2002 and it says irish decal products it is a six wheel double decker bus it's in the box it's never been opened and has some irish words on it don't ask me to pronounce them. I'll butcher it and embarrass myself. Yeah, there it is. Got some schmutz on top. I have to clean that off. Um, anyway, and it says it's not uh, recommended for people three years and younger, so because of small parts, so, you know, warning. Um, and it's got some writing on the back in regards to Ireland. Yeah. So I saw this. I saw it in the toy section and before I could catch my breath, I had it in my hands and walking away from the toy section. And I, I, I kind of like that because people always look at me funny when I do things like that. And then they got to go and look where I was just at to see what I took. Like maybe they missed it. So I picked this up on half price day. Proudest day of my moment. Proudest day of my moment. Proudest moment of my day. There you go. I'm just having that much fun. Everything's screwed up. Okay. So I've got that listed right now on eBay. Whether or not it goes, I don't know. People just don't seem to be interested in St. Patty's Day stuff right now. But I thought I'd throw it out there. And then... Let's see if I can find the little mark. I got these little handmade, see that handle? Handmade. And they say Linux US. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. I'll show it to you. Anyway, it's right there. It's right there. It says Linux USA. These, they're calling these. Oh, that's part of the manufacturer. There's a little bit of a um, edge right there. But they're calling these cordial glasses. These are for Irish coffee. 
this is this is how you serve Irish coffee these are made of crystal but I don't think they're 24 percent lead crystal but these are made from by of crystal and you know what goes really really well with these is if you serve your Irish cream in here and my brother-in-law was telling me that there's another Irish cream out there that doesn't start with Bailey's that's actually better than the one that starts with Bailey's and you could serve your Irish cream in here and let them pour it into their glasses on ourselves and if they still need sugar these are made in Galloway I've had these I had these on a previous video and the mark is right there the Galloway crystal so these are actually made in Ireland and I thought say Patty's Day I gotta pull these out again but I love these can you imagine these on the table for St. Patty's Day having a good old time I'm trying to think March Madness <laughs> right can you see pulling these out at the March Madness games people be looking at you funny but anyway so I pulled those out because they were fun absolutely fun and then these what's fun with these I'll tell you what's fun with these these are Pyrex beakers these are actual beakers they're made of glass Pyrex there's a poly something or other bicarbonate or something name for them a fancy name for them this one is 50 milliliters if you have a homeschooler this one is 80 milliliters or if you're just interested in science on a on you know on a on a home basis this would even be fun for measuring out if you're trying to show your kids the difference between uh, um, United States fluid ounces and um, it's coming it's right there the uh, European metric system and the difference in the metric system I, 30 milliliters is basically an ounce this one goes up to 140 so that holds about four and a half ounces right there and maybe you're having a cocktail party and you're mixing up your drinks that one is 30 ounces right there and I believe that's a shot that 30 ounces is a shot so maybe you want to impress your friends and do some mixology with these I have these listed on eBay right now and so that's a little fun I mean it's interesting I love learning I love learning about new things I love trying new things I wish I'd had a set of these when I was in college oh loads of fun loads of fun this one here is a little fun too it's a little brass panda and he's eating something or sucking on his paw whatever it is he's doing he's just sitting there and it's all brass why did I pick this up I'll tell you why this is brass brass sells in the middle market the original price on it and it was at one of the better Goodwills was 99 cents and I got it at half off day I have this one listed on Etsy right now yeah I have this one listed on Etsy so that one to me this is fun put this as a little paperweight on paperweight on your desk um, up on your little shelf or whatever but I love the panda I think he's fun and this little baby I couldn't figure this one out I found this it just says made in China on it it's ceramic and it looks sort of like it's handmade see that little dimple right there and I don't see any press seams on it but it could either hold a little terracotta pot with a plant in it see the handle see that little handle yeah you can feel the texture in that handle right there with the leaves these these sort of look like um, periwinkle leaves or um, chicory leaves to me you see chicory along the side of the road all the time they look like little blue flowers yeah 
Somebody's going to tell me, no, those are forget-me-nots. Somebody's going to tell me, you don't know what you're talking about. And there's a little dimple down there. See that little dimple down there? So this is handmade. This is not manufactured and pressed in a big factory. Anyway, but it's glazed all the way through. So you could actually drink out of this. You could drink your coffee out of this. And if you have somebody you know that loves flowers, or maybe you love flowers, and you just want to sit and drink out of something different, maybe for Easter, put a little grass in, a little Easter grass in there, and put a little egg in there, give that to somebody for Easter. It just seemed like fun to me. Woo! Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Okay. Now... Too much fun. This is Villaroy and Bach, and it's hand blown. I don't know if you can see all those bubbles in there. There's a ton of bubbles in there, all the way around this piece, and it's called Waverly Glass New Wave. And I thought this is fun. This is fun. Um, if you need a little piece, and the blue. The, the blue is, it's iridescent in the right light. And it just, if you have a light down below or a light off to the side, the blue just grabs it and just throws it off. Yeah. So if you had this on your bedroom uh, dresser or if even in your bathroom, put this in your bathroom on your sink and put your little um, stuff in there. Um, I wouldn't use it for soap because soap, soap is messy. But I might use it to put, um, like, the soap dispenser in the middle of it. And I just think it looks neat. I think it looks neat. And this this one runs, what is this? This one runs about 10 to $15 a plate, a dish. It's supposed to be a salad dish. Can you believe that? It's supposed to be a salad dish. But I saw it, and I grabbed it up, and I thought that would be fabulous in a bathroom or on a dresser or a side table in the bedroom. And maybe if you were serving nuts or fruit, you know, there's just so many uses for these dishes and I really like it. I really like the look. I love the way the light, it grabs the light and bounces off of it. So this looked fun to me and I, I picked it up. Again, I got it a half off day. I prefer going on half off day, but I think I'm going to be changing my tune and going on different days because the crowds really get to me. I, if, you, if you don't know, I'm a bit of an introvert. Some people would never believe it, but I'm a bit of an intro, uh, a serious introvert. And when I'm trying to get around and look at glass and I have to bend over to see what's down below the shelves, and people are right up on you. I mean, they're right up on you. There's no sense of personal space whatsoever. And I worked in an industry where I was always in able, I was always in elbows, knees, and butt cracks doing my job. Seriously, healthcare. Healthcare will do that to you. And I would I would crawl between elbows and knees in the emergency room to get to my patient so that I could draw blood, so that I could send it down to the lab. And I think it's, I, I, I enjoyed doing that because I knew I was helping people, but there's a difference between doing that and elbows, knees, and butt cracks at Goodwill. I think I'm going to name my video that. Let's have fun with elbows, knees, and butt cracks. Okay. Anyway, wow, that took a turn quick, didn't it? I also found this. I found this. I was so proud of myself. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, I was driving for Uber, Lyft, and Instacart. Um, I did it in Michigan and for a year and a half, and then I came down and did it in Nashville for a year and a half, uh, mainly because uh, I was between jobs. Uh, I needed to... Um... There's a story. I needed to um, supplement my income. I liked getting out and meeting people and then dropping them off, taking them where they needed to go. Uh, it got to be crazy sometimes on Michigan State University campus. 
And down here in Nashville, it's been crazy a couple of times. All the time. It's always crazy in Nashville. Even when it's quiet, it's crazy in Nashville. Um, and the one thing I always, always, <clears throat> always recommend is get yourself a dash cam. Get one for the front, get one for the back. Even if you don't drive for a living, get one. I'm telling you. Because I actually came up on an accident. I was there. It wasn't me. I was there. And um, I sat there. I pulled over to the side of the road and I waited and I waited because I didn't want to be in the way. I didn't want to be interfering with the law enforcement. They came to me and they said, can we help you? And I said, I'm an Uber driver, got my signs all over the car, so they knew. I said, I have a dash cam, would you like to see my dash cam video? And you, you can't see, on the back of this is a little screen. So I played it for him on my, on my video camera. I played it for him. And he looks at me and he goes, thank you very much and went over and talked to the car that caused the accident. I'm pretty sure that he was disavowing any responsibility to the accident. Uh, so these things are good for a lot of reasons. Um, save your butt. Sometimes the insurance companies do not believe you when you say it was not your fault. Sometimes when you tell people that that car drove in front of me checked his brakes and I ran into the back of him. Not me, but I've seen it happen and I've seen it pulled out here on Nashville highways. They don't believe you, but if you have a dash cam on your dash and it happens, I have two bro I have brothers that are truckers and long haul truckers, big semis, and they've shown me the video from the dash cams. Yeah, if you drive, you need one of these. Well, I picked these up. I picked up a bunch of these. I picked up 30 of them, and I split them with my sister-in-law, Teresa. So she's going to have them on her eBay. I think it's going to be on her eBay. And I'm going to have mine on my eBay. Uh, I kept back four. I put one in my car because my previous dash cam was so old that it, it wasn't working properly anymore. And I gave one to my husband for his Mustang, and I'm giving uh, one to my daughter and one to my other daughter because they both have newer vehicles. And so they can put it in their vehicles and so they can show people what's going on out there. This has a regular car charger, you know, the kind you put in, just put it into where the cigarette lighter used to be. Now they call them charger ports. And it also has a UBS transfer. So you can transfer the video to your computer or you can charge it in your car. It has an eight gigabyte micro um, SD card. Um, it has a manual so you can learn how to use it. And it has a suction cup mount so you put it up by your rear view mirror facing forward traffic and it, it has an angle of about 120 degrees which is what you're going to see when you're driving. Um, it's, it's, it's only a 1.8 screen. It doesn't have the bigger screen. It doesn't have the wider angle, but for the price, this is an excellent economy. And I think I'm going to put it out there with $15 in free shipping or $12.99 with first class shipping. Comes out to about the same. But this is an excellent idea. And um, I got it on sale. I'm not going to tell you where and I'm not going to tell you how much, but let's just say it, it was a steal. But I'm going to put this out there because I thoroughly believe that everybody who drives anywhere, especially Nashville, especially Michigan State University and Ann Arbor and Detroit, Grand Rapids, I've been all over. Yeah. Get yourself a dash cam because it will save you in your insurance. I promise you. It'll save you the crap that happens out there. I swear, nobody's gonna believe. I can tell you stories. This is not that video. Okay, so I got that, I've got that. Oh, and the uh, piece to the stone, yes. You say, what does she have now? Okay, ta-ta, do you see this? Do you see this? Look at this. What does it say? It says Winston. This is fake leather. It's 
fake leather case. You can see there's some age and some damage on there. I'm thinking I have been looking and looking and looking and looking, and I am the research fool. I have been looking. I have not been able to find when these were actually made, but I'm thinking it was pre-1980, and I'll tell you why. One, the age of the case and the, and the polyester lining inside of it, and the this is supposed to be white like a cigarette, and it's about yellow, which, you know, if you smoke, nicotine stains and everything. And um, it's a pool cue. It's a pool cue, and it is straight. Straight as can be. This screws on like this. Like this. And you can see the little end on it right there. Still has chalk mark on it. This was loved. This was well loved. And it says Winston. Maybe if I hold it up right, you'll be able to read it. It says Winston on it. And this is supposed to look like a cigarette filter. Got the little end there. But this is supposed to look like a cigarette filter. And I know that they had sent Wimpton, Wimptons. I'm not a smoker, can you tell? They have Winston, Winston-Salem, and Salem cigarettes. My mom and dad used to smoke Winston, Winston, so I know. And pool was hot. Hot in the 50s, 60s, and 80s. And I'm thinking this was made, I'm pretty sure it was made before the 80s. If anybody knows, please let me know. I'm, I'm telling you, I have been looking and looking and looking, and I can't find it. But... They sell right now online for anywhere from $26 to $76. And the ones without any damage, and some of them don't have the cases. This one has the case in the original case. The handle is still on it. I'm going to close this up. I'm going to show you. Hardware still works on it. Yeah, the pitting in the, in the hardware, it's aluminum. And it's like a rubber handle on it. Yeah. And then... The damage on the case leads me to believe this is at least 30 years old. And because of the laws in the states about cigarette advertising, I'm thinking this is, yeah, this is before the 80s. So, my husband, oh, and there's the back hardware there. You can see the back hardware, it all works. So my husband said, lover boy Larry, said that he's going to take it over to where he works, which is at a tavern, a bar, a place here in Spring Hill. And um, he's going to go over there and he's going to play in the pool league and he's going to pull it out. And he says if nobody buys it, he might play a couple weeks with it. And I said, go ahead, just take care of it. He, he's, a, he's a shark, let me tell you. He's a shark. He's going to play with it for a little bit, and then I'm going to put it on eBay. Maybe Etsy. Um, we'll see how that goes, but I thought that was fun. That was fun, and I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it, but I actually, th this is the fun part. I bought it in an Amish-based charity thrift store. I thought that was funny. I thought that was funny. The stuff you find. Yeah. Uh, another fun, another fun thing. There's a story that's related to this, and this is why I bought it. This is, this is Leonard Fine China of Japan. The pattern is called Enchanted Rose 1583. Right there, it's silver trim. Now you see that little dish. This is a little fruit dessert dish. Excuse me, just a second. Okay. Lent. Um, this is a little fruit and there's a story that goes similar to these dishes. I'm sitting over at my sister-in-law Teresa's house and she has a cat rescue. And what she was doing is she was going to the local um, thrift store. It's called God's Storehouse Thrift Store in Pulaski, Tennessee. 
and they have their pet pantry giveaway and she's part of that and what they do is they for people who are senior citizens or they're hard on hard on the luck or maybe they're between jobs and they need help um, making it to the end of the month they give out cat food and dog food well she had seen some dishes over there that looked similar to these and she figured this way she could spread the cats out all over the place and keep them you know separated a little bit uh, they're like people they some of them can't sit by others and she put cat food in the dishes and she laid them out and I was standing there and I was looking and I I I I I couldn't I couldn't speak I couldn't I was looking it took my breath away and I looked at her and I said do you know what you're doing those cats are eating on the best china I've ever seen and she looked at me funny you're gonna have to go check out her um, eBay and her Etsy store to find it find these dishes I hope she I hope she um, tells you the story herself but she looks at me funny and she goes what are you talking about I said do you know how much that dish is worth and my brother-in-law quickly pulls up my brother-in-law my brother her husband she's my sister-in-law Ooh, Freudian slip. Um, pulls it so she pulls he pulls out his phone and he starts looking and I told him I said this is what you need to look for on the back these marks right here and he's look these dishes were selling online not retail not brand new they were selling online the ones that they have for ten dollars a dish I saw her run through that kitchen pulling up all these dishes and the cats are like, whoa, what are you doing? And to this day, when she starts pulling out these little dishes and looking at them, the cats come running thinking that they're going to get fed. It's funny. Funnier than hell. And I'm just sitting there going, oh my God. So then she starts pulling other dishes that she has up in her cupboard and starts pulling them out and he starts researching them. Before you know it, the whole cupboard is empty. I think she found some uh, Arby's glasses back there that were from the 70s, 90s. I mean, they were old. They were vintage. They were vintage. And um, I started laughing because these are his favorite glasses to drink out of. And she's like, oh, no, uh -uh, not after she priced them. But these dishes are not these, these right here. These are nice. These make little candy dishes or maybe some place to put your, you know, key, or maybe you want to just put pudding in it. And give it to grandma who knows maybe the little the kids these dishes I'm gonna put them on eBay um, they're four dollars I'll, I'll put them on for four dollars they sell between eight and ten dollars a piece these aren't that fabulous I don't think but when I saw these I started laughing I had to pick them up and, and I took them over to Teresa I picked them up in the video you can see when I pick them up in the video I took them over to Teresa and I showed her afterwards I said look what I found I found cat dishes shut up she says shut up she says so anyway so that's my fun haul right here oh I have I have one more thing one more thing I apologize these don't they look fun this little couple right here he's got his little green short pants on and his little jacket on doesn't that look fun this is an old I got two of them there's two of them there's the pair um, I, pr I picked these up let's just say it was it was less than $25 and for the pair they need to be rewired the wiring is old in fact you can see there's no way no way that I can sell that right now the wiring is sold look at that plug I would be absolutely scared to death with that plug I mean and the person told me she said I wouldn't use them and I said no I, I have no plans to use them but um, I got to clean them up a little bit just you know clean off the dust that's been collecting on them and on the bottom it says made in occupied Japan now if you don't can you see that there you go it wants to focus on me okay Occupy Japan Occupy Japan is from about 1935 I'm horrible with numbers so hang in there 1935 1930 to 1945 it was at the time that the, or 48 
it was at the time that the U.S. had taken over in Japan after we had had our little disagreement and uh, we had lost lives in Pearl Harbor. And uh, I'm not trying to whitewash that. I'm really not trying to whitewash that, but I have friends who are Oriental. Some of them are Hmong and some of them are Jap Japanese and some of them are Vietnamese and some of them are Korean and do not get them mixed up, holy cow. Oh my God. And I, I have a friend who is part um, Thai and part American. And the, the, the globe as a whole went through um, n that nasty conflict. We all have our stories. But anyway, so this has occupied Japan. These, you don't get that mark very often. And I picked them up for less than, less than $25. And as a pair, I can sell them from 60 to 80 bucks after I get them rewired and after I get them get together and there's no chips or no marks on them. And I was absolutely surprised. I was so pleased when I found them. So that's a fun little thing right there. I'm gonna have fun fixing those up. So I appreciate you stopping by. If there's anything that you see, please make a comment in the bottom. Anything that interested you, anything that you thought looked fun. And uh, look on my eBay and my Etsy store. I have the links down in the bottom. And I think I have a link to Teresa's um, store down in the bottom too. If she's got an Etsy store, I don't have that link yet. So Teresa, get me that link. Um, and come on back again. I've got more stuff that I've got to show you guys, okay? Thanks. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to like, share, and hit the subscribe button to our channel here. For more information, check out the links listed below in the description section of the video. And find us at Tinker Terry's on Instagram.